What's up? What's up? What's up? Family, friends, frenemies, enemies, and foes. What's going on? For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Clyde Rush, and this is the Light Body Podcast. If this is your first time being in the place to be, you're in the right place at the right time for the right reason. Listen, make sure you like and subscribe before we even get into anything. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, show me what you got. If you got a couple of questions about whatever it is that I'm speaking to, or if you have a couple of questions about some things that's in your mind that you would like me to speak to, leave a comment down below. With that being said, today's video is basically all about a couple of things. One, dream bigger, think bigger, and be bigger. Dream bigger, think bigger, believe bigger. Okay. So listen, I always say I do my best to not be here for a long period of time, but today, seriously, I don't think I'm going to be here for a long period of time. Here's the reason why I'm going to talk about these three things and I'm going to get out of here about the dreams. All right. Listen, it's been said, my people perish for lack of a vision. All right. My people perish for lack of a vision. Not y'all being my people, but my people being the word says my people perish for lack of a vision. What's your vision that you actually have for you? Like, where do you see yourself? Is is the place that you are right now is like, this is it? Like, you may have gone through, a, we jumping right into this. Okay, so understand where I'm coming from. We are jumping right into this because we ain't got no time to be wasting, dilly-dallying around this, that, and the other and playing around. If you're at that place in your life and you've lived long enough to make some decisions in your life and you see that the decisions that you've made in your life aren't conducive to the life that you see inside your mind's eye, you've got to make a decision. And you've got to ask yourself, am I playing small or am I more to play bigger than I've been playing? Am I playing too small? Meaning you've got this big desire that's in your heart. You see it in your mind's eye over and over and over again. It's the thing that keeps you up at night. It's the thing that wakes you up in the morning. You can't wait to get into the day to do it. And then all of a sudden, life happens. What do I mean by life happens? You all know what I'm talking about. The people, places, the things, family, friends, frenemies, enemies, and foes. You get the phone call. You get the message. You get the text. You get the, the situation that doesn't really support the dream that you're thinking about doing. And you become discouraged. And you decide, I'll put it on hold. And you keep putting it on hold and time keeps going on. And the next thing you know is you see somebody doing the very thing it is that you've been dreaming about doing basically your whole life. And yet you've never taken action to it. Why is that? What's the thing outside of you that you're allowing to hold you from becoming a better, the true version of who, it, who you truly are? I'm not talking about the best version because the best version may not be the true version of who you are. I'm talking about the true you, like the you that you don't share with anybody else. And I'm talking about the you that you keep quiet, nestled down in your little cave. The you that has the big dreams and the big desires to live that amazing life that's beyond the dream. It's, it's, it's bigger than the dream that you've been dreaming. But yet for some reason, you're stuck in animation trying to figure out how to create this animated life that you truly want to live. And yeah, I say it's animated because the whole thing it is, you see it moving. All right. And animation isn't just about a cartoon as far as I'm concerned. It's about the vision that you see in your mind movie that plays over and over. And you're the star, you're the producer, you're the writer, you're creator of this whole movie scene in your life. Yet you won't write the script. Yet you won't show up and play in it. Why won't you live from your dream? Not in it, because if you live in your dream, you're stuck in it. You got to step out of the dream. You can't see the picture while you're standing in it. You got to step out the picture to see it. You can't read the jaw. You can't read the label of a jaw while you're still in the jaw. You got to step out the jaw to read the label. Okay, so look. We've got we collectively as a movement. We've got some superstars that's out here that can radically change this world in health and wellness, in creation content or content creation, and things that just can make life a whole lot better. Nutritionally, you know, you'll understand what's actually happened with food that's out here right now. We are what we eat. So guess what? If you eat and produce food, all you can produce is what the value of the food actually is. And if the value in the food that you're eating is zero, guess what that means about you? Zero. 
And I'm not calling you a zero like you don't have any values or morals or principles or things or, or worthiness or anything along those lines. I'm talking about the nutritional value in your body. I was about to turn on, but I'm not going to do it. Here's the point, right? If you can get to the fact and understand that there's something greater in you that wants to express itself through you. And you've got to be willing to show up for that person. Now, when you show up for that person, that version of yourself, it's going to cost you something. And more often than what it's going to cost you is the version of yourself that you are right now. Meaning that expression of who it is that you truly are to show up and be the best true version of yourself is what it's calling you for. And more often than not, we get comfortable in captivity. We get comfortable in complacency. We get comfortable in the circumstances and the situations that we're in. And we sit there. And the one thing that's going on is time. Some of this stuff is cultural. And when I say it's cultural, it's what you have actually learned. You learned how to sit back and assimilate to a situation as opposed to stepping up, stepping away from it to become something greater. Every single person has a purpose, promise, and a mission to live and express themselves in this life. You were born with it. It's your true destiny. It's who you actually are designed to be. The question is, is do you believe that or not? And that belief is based in the expression and how you express yourself. Listen, let's talk about it again. Because when I talk about it, I got to hit you up. The, let's talk about it real quick. You know, and if it hasn't happened to you, don't worry about it. But this is about relationships real quick. All right. And if you're married or if you're not married, fine. If you're divorced, if you're single, if you're newly single, if whatever your situation is in a relationship, I want you to think about this for a couple of minutes before you got to the state and place. If when you get home, you're not excited about going home, going into your house, you got to sit there for a couple of minutes and really compose yourself before you walk into your house. Or if you decide, I'm going to miss this train and catch the late train, late train before I get home or the bus. Or if you decide, I'll stay at work extra. You're volunteering to stay at work because you don't really want to go home. You got some situations and some decisions that you got to make, some choices. Because you're succumbing to the stress, strain, and struggle in the environment in your house that's not conducive for the growth. Now, on the flip side to that, because there's the dark side and there's the light side to this. However, if you can't wait to get home and you can't wait to get in and share your experience for the day with your significant other, then you got a good environment that's actually going on. That person's supporting your dream. You're supporting their dream. You have a collective cohesive environment that you're actually both working in. And it's not just about surviving, but you're actually thriving and you're doing your thing. You can share your concepts and ideas and you can be supportive with each other. It's not a knockdown because I'm trying to knock you down so I can get back up. I'm going to stand up on your head so that I can get higher and elevated before you. Listen, separation by revelation is the case sometimes separation <laughs> by revelation is the case sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes on the flip side, back to the other side, the light side. Now, I want you all to understand what I mean by the light side, because this is the Light Body Podcast. The light side is the higher consciousness, the elevated emotion, the whole concept about gratitude, appreciation, compassion, care, joy, love, enlightenment. When you start talking about those elevated emotions and you attach it with a clear intention, what do I clearly see in my mind's eye? If I see it in my mind and I can feel it in my heart, you hear me say it all the time, then I can hold it in my hand. As long as I'm willing to become the person that I'm not right now in order to accomplish the thing it is that I truly desire to have by becoming bigger. I'm not talking about the egotistical bigger. That's not what it is that I'm referring to and that's not what I'm saying. Matter of fact, ego doesn't even play a role in this at all. Even though we do have an ego and we got to check it, that ego's job is to protect you from yourself. And you've got to understand that. So you got to have a conversation with your ego in your inner conversation, in your inner world. You've got to have that conversation with your ego. Hey, listen, ego, check this out. I know you've served me well and you've protected me from myself for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> and I appreciate everything it is that you've done for me. This is your inner conversation, your inner world that you're having this conversation with and you're chatting with your ego. Thank you. I appreciate you for all that you've done for me. But on this next round, I need you to trust me that I'm good to go with the decisions that I'm about to make. And some of those decisions that I'm going to make, I'm not going to consult with you. And I know this sounds a little bit crazy, it may sound a little woo woo to most of you, maybe sounds like it's something that you've already done. But the bottom line is, 
if you keep doing the same things that you've already done, then you'll keep getting the same results that you've already got. And in order to become, become somebody different that you've never been, you've got to be willing to do something that you've never done to produce results that you've never had. It's that simple. Okay, so when I talk about the bigger aspect of who it is that you are, it's not the reduced egotistical aspect of yourself. It's the true expression of who it is that you truly are, that you allow yourself to express yourself through yourself, through the situations that you've actually gone through. And what is that? Wisdom. That's wisdom. The wisdom to know the difference between this, that, and the other. The serenity prayer. To understand and accept the things that you can accept, the things that you can change, you change and know the difference between them. And you decide to walk out on that. So when I say walk out on it, I'm talking about walking out on your faith. That's the dream bigger than the thing it is that you've already been doing over and over and you're ruminating about whether or not you can do it or not. Here's the thing that sparked this. I drove up in my community, right? Up here in the mountains. <laughs> and let me tell you something, this mountain life is crazy. I love it. At the same time, it gives you a different perspective because now you're elevated. And I'm not talking about being better than anybody else or anything along those lines. And if that's the thought process, the process that you got, then you're wrong. You're the one that got the situation, a problem. I'm just talking about the perspective that I see things from. And all of us have the opportunity to get a different perspective in order to do something different. There was a time I never even thought about having a podcast, but I do now. And now it's about growing into becoming that person that has a podcast and sharing content that's valuable and worth that other people want to share and hear. And they share the same content with other people because it has some value and worth to it. Well, in order to do that, you have to have a different perspective beyond the perspective that you actually had prior to it. And every single person, when you wake up each and every single day, you have an opportunity to put on yesterday or put on the new day. The scripture says, remind or renew your mind daily. Old things have passed away. Renew your mind daily. Old things have passed away. You are a new creation every single day. So why am I sitting here putting on yesterday again today with the same perspectives when I have a new day that I can have a new perspective and a new perspective on life? The choice is yours. It's about making that decision. So I spoke about the dream. Let's talk about being bigger as a person. All right. And part of that being big as a person is what is it going to take for you to step out of who you are and step up to who you are to become in order to do the thing it is that you truly desire? What is the model of reality that you actually need or is important for you or incumbent upon you to recognize and to embrace? See, listen, as long as we stay in the limited capacity of our mindset, as long as we stay in the, the place where it's like they, them, those, and others say that you're not this, that, and this, and we believe that, shame on us. Because we don't even give ourselves the chance to be the expression of who it is that we truly are because we still believe in what the outside world says as opposed to what the inside world says. Meaning I don't have the confidence and the abilities in who it is that I say that I am. So I still believe what they say. I am. Or I'm not. And I give credence, value, and precedence over what they are thinking. More so than the belief that I actually have in myself. And let me tell you something. When that shift starts to happen, you start to separate yourself from those people. And what do those people do? First thing they say is, oh, you think you're better than me? You think you're special? Oh, you're the one? <laughs> Not that I think that I'm better than you. It's just that I've decided to go in a different route than you. And everybody, trust me when I tell you this, everybody don't want to see you successful. Everybody don't want to see you win. Everybody that you think is your friend ain't. Some friends are foes. Some friends are enemies. And you got to understand and discern the difference between who is and who's not. And sometimes you need to spend some time by yourself. Get comfortable spending some time with you. Like you're good enough just as you are for you. You know, when we think about this, statistically speaking, relationships is what the shift is right now. We're talking about relationships. So relationships, separations, divorce, breakups, whatever you want to call it, right? relationships and divorce rate is beyond 50%. And it's always been beyond 50% for the longest period of time. The thing that makes it kind of stay the same is that people aren't getting married like they used to get married. I mean, as a DJ, you know, I'm a superstar DJ, right? So if you don't know, now you do know. I was doing weddings just about every other weekend <laughs> for years, like really. Since COVID kind of came along, all of that changed. Like people stopped, really, they stopped getting married. They stopped getting married. And the thing that's actually been on the rise is divorce. 
divorce. Now, divorce can do one or two things because it's the death of the relationship, but it's also the rebirth of you. Oops, I just said that. It's the death of the relationship, but it's also the rebirth of you. It's the new you that's emerging. Now, you can choose to do one or two things. You can be stuck in a divorce or you can be free from the divorce. And what's been happening with a lot of people mentally and emotionally is they've been stuck in the divorce. Trust me when I tell you, that's not the place to be. Yes, we do need some healing from that space and place. Yes, there are alternatives and choices that you can actually make. But to stay stuck in something that didn't serve you for the longest period of time and you want to stay in it after it's done, shame on you. Now, I realize that there's pain. I realize that there's hurt, especially if this is your boo. <laughs> and what am I going to do without my boo? And all the rest of that stuff that goes along the story. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to live your life and be free. You got to learn how to live and adjust again. And now here's the thing. The same thing that weighed you down is no longer weighing you down. Now you're free to be you and to express your life in full. And I mean, really like full on out. And I'm not talking about going out here and going buck wild and carrying on because that's not what I'm talking about doing. I'm talking about still in the silence and solitude where you can sit in a place and just know that I'm at peace with me in my mind, in my heart, in my being. And I can express myself freely to do the thing it is that I desire to do. I can now start that business. I can now start to attract those people towards me, not because of the relationship where it's going to be anything that's crazy, but because the business mind is now focused on attracting those people to me that I wasn't able to attract before because I didn't have the support that I needed while I was in that space and place. And now I'm free from that. So stuck in it or free from it, whether it's a separation a divorce or whatever the situation is that you may have come from, if something can listen, understand this. Am I telling you all to jump out there and run around and say, listen, Brush said for me to go and get this. From, that's not what I'm saying to you. So don't come back talking about it. You told mm -mm. that's not what I'm saying. You know better. You're the judge of your life. All right. And the other person that you with. But if the other person that you're with isn't really supporting your life, how long are you going to stay there? And I mean this like real, like serious talk. How long are you going to pay that price? How long are you going to compromise your peace? How long are you going to compromise your essence for who it is that you truly are? How many other people are going to suffer because you won't stand up and become the person that you ought to be? Now, look, I understand that there are economical situations that go along why people stay in the places that they're actually in for a longer period of time. But you're reducing yourself by staying in a place where you can't express yourself truly. Now, look. If you can get the lines of communication open to the point where you can express yourself and that person can express themselves to it without the cost of the other, without it being expensive for you to cost your life, then go for it. Sit down and have that conversation. Get into some counseling and talk to some people and be truthful. Because you know what? What ends up happening when this thing actually comes up in these relationships like this, one person is grown out of the other and the other person is grown away from the other and you're still trying to figure out how to make this happen. That's real talk, all right? Now, you can like it. You can not like it. You could turn this off and never turn it back on again. The choice is yours. But the bottom line is something I just said hit somebody. And you sitting there trying to figure it out. And that's fine. Comment down below. Comment down below and let's figure this thing out, all right? For real, for real, for real. Like, you need to figure it out. I, I did. And I'm not talking from some, you know, pontificated idea of relativity that's associated to nothing that's really not based in anything besides a thought idea or framework or something that really is not relegated to anything other than what it is that I just said. But the point that I'm making to you is this is an experience. And there was emotional baggage that went along with that whole thing and it kept me stuck for a minute. So when that moment of freedom finally comes in, you don't, you see that guy in the back? That's what the freedom is. You, you just, you can breathe. You can, you can see life again. You can understand that there's significance, purpose, and value in who it is that you are. Yeah, it is the death of one thing, but there's also the life of another. And you have the power to choose what you choose based on what the next part of this is, your beliefs. Look, if you got these limiting beliefs, 
and you don't believe enough in yourself to become the person that you truly are to be, you'll always stay right where you are. And what you have is it. But there's something great inside you that's waiting to come out. And I've talked to people all over this country, all over the, the globe, from one point to the other point. And I hear the same thing over and over and over. And people are sitting, suffering in silence. They're sitting, they're suffering in silence with their significant other. And there's a version of this person that that significant other doesn't even know because you don't want to show up and show them who you really are. So you reduce yourself to fit in. And your dream is so big, but your belief is small. So you play smaller and smaller and reduce and reduce almost till you, you disappear. And that's not how life is supposed to be lived. Listen, when you get to that place when you're free, <laughs> I got to laugh because people, people around you feel that. You know, people around you, when you're free, there's a vibration. There's an energy. And there's a frequency that emanates from you that people can't help but feel when you step up in a place you resonate on that frequency because you're so big. You're there before you even step into place. When you're operating on the essence of who it is that you truly are, which is to make a difference in this place, there's something, there's something so unique and special about you that only you can do, that nobody else can do, that this universe that we're in this world that we live in, this school called Earth, is waiting for you to show up and teach people how to do your thing. There's something that you've learned to overcome, just as you are, that can radically change and shift someone else's life. But you won't show up because you don't believe that you're good enough just like you are. You're still believing in the limited capacities about what they, them, those, and others think about you when the true you is inside. And you sit there and you cry at night because your pain and suffering is so great because you won't show up. When you start to show up, you'll be surprised the people that start to come into your sphere of influence. They'll start to change. And you'll start to make room for the new people who are coming up and showing up. And when those new people come up and show up, it's an indicating, an, an affirmation that it's time for you to stand up and show up and to deliver and to deliver big and impact this world and create leverage and freedom for you, them, those, and others. But before you can do that, you got to make a decision to show up and be bigger for you. Stop playing the small game and learn how to play the big game and show up and play this game called life to win. I promise you, we'll all be in the same place on one of my retreats talking about how you did this thing and how it happened for you. And then that spark turned on. And you see it all the time. There's something great inside you, just as you are. There's a seed that's been planted inside you that's just waiting to be phototropic where it comes from the ground up instead of being gravitropic where it's going down and those roots embedded in the good soil and the earth. Now the phototropic essence of that seed is time to come through and come up just like a blade of grass coming through the natural process. That natural process is you. Put the good water inside yourself. Learn how to eat your water. That's another story. We could talk about that later on as far as the nutrition aspect is concerned and what that nutritional aspect that is important and relevant for you to sustain that higher degree of consciousness within your body so that you can understand and function what the biology of the body is truly all about and create that radical transformation within. As it is within, so it is without. As it is above, so it is below. So that higher degree of consciousness, that integration with the heart, that masculine feminine integration that actually goes along in this space and place 
where I can function and operate through homeostasis within my body. I'm in a peace. And my sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system are functioning and operating, balancing in order. And I don't have my foot down on the gas and my foot down on the brake, exerting this energy going no place. But it's a symphonic harmony with balance and essence in order that I'm moving and gliding in the space and place to get from this state to the next state and to interact with those people who are sitting there waiting for me as I was waiting for them. And then we get in this frequency and we get on this frequency and that energy starts to resonate. And now we got this thing called full expression of life. And now that small me is no longer part of me, but that small me is the egotistical part of myself. And now I'm living life on the bigger essence of who it is that I truly am. Why? Because I believe in me. And I know that there's oneness that I'm connected to as far as this universe is concerned. And there's no separation, no dualities going on. There's oneness. Everything that is, I am. And everything that I am, I is. Y'all get what I'm talking about? Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Do you understand where I'm coming from? With that being said, look. Take a listen to this again. All right? Play bigger in this field of infinite possibilities. Because what it's waiting for, it's waiting for you to show up. All right? Listen to this again. Share it with your family, friends, families, enemies, and foes. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. And check this out, all right? Play bigger in this field of infinite possibilities. Crush those limiting beliefs that you actually have about who it is that you don't believe that you truly are because you truly are. And dream bigger than the dreams that you've already been dreaming. Because I tell you why, there's a great expression of who it is that you truly are within. You just got to decide, decide, decide to play big and play big to win. With that being said, Peace, blessings, prosperity, and abundance. Namaste. You enjoy the rest of your day today. Brothers out. Peace.